such an easy, breezy, beautiful fragrance mist. <laughs> back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new I film beauty lifestyle and travel related videos so if that's something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit those post notification bells so you always know when I upload a new video make sure you follow me on Instagram at just Kayla Michelle and give me a like on Facebook by the same name so guys as you can see by the title below today's video is going to be a Bath and Body Works summer collection haul. So I did participate in a sale on Sunday that was for $6.50 for a select body care. And I did an in-store pickup so that I can get my stuff immediately. So as you can tell, today is Wednesday and I have been sitting on this haul for days and it's because I have not been feeling good at all. So I do wanna take the, a moment to thank everybody that has wished me well, that has given me well wishes, hoping that I feel better. I do feel better than before, but I'm still, you know, a little under the weather as you can tell by my voice here. So I wanted to get this video out. I didn't bother doing my makeup in here or anything because I'm just gonna get back in the bed and edit this video and talk to you guys in the comments because I have missed doing that for the past three days. But I know, you know, usually three days, it's like, you know, not a big deal, but for us, we, you know, are pretty frequent on the uploads around here. So three days feels like an eternity. I hop into this video and show you guys what I ended up picking up so that I can pick, put the stuff away and start using it. It's a heavy box bag. I don't know why I said box. And this has two smaller bags inside of it. One of them is kind of ripping open. So I, you know, have to kind of be careful so it doesn't spill all over the floor. I'm gonna start out with this bag and inside of this bag I got some little wallflowers so I did have a coupon for a wallflower for a free wallflower and then I had my 20% off I wasn't gonna use my 20% off for anything else so um I just went ahead and used it for this of uh, my in-store 20% off because I did actually use my online code for this order so I feel like it was you know very worthwhile in here of course they gave me my little SAS tag that they've been giving us, you know, getting us nice and hype and ready because we're crazy, we're thirsty, we are so ready to go for SAS. And I actually have my receipt right here, but this is, oh, this receipt is for my wallflowers because I guess for my online order, they gave me a different receipt. So for my wallflowers, I spent $6.42 for both of those. So the first one I have I was walking around the store and I'm like, something smells so good. What is that? Like, it smells so good. And then I noticed that they were like, you know, ringing my stuff up and she was asking for another wallflower. And I'm like, what's going on? I didn't realize that it spilled all over my hands because the wallflower was open and that's what I was smelling. So the one that I was smelling was this rainbow confetti. And I cannot wait to put this in the bathroom immediately after I get done with this video. I'm gonna plug this up because I have been waiting to use this. Oh my goodness, I need to stock up on these and buy some more. But that smells so good. I was like thinking something in my purse had spilled or something, but no, it was the wallflower all over my hands. And then I also got strawberry pound cake. I've never actually had this in a wallflower. I did have had this in several candles, but I got this in the wallflower because Cynthia is always talking about, you know, the strawberry pound cake wallflowers that she has in her home and she's always rebuying these. So I thought I'd finally give the wallflower a try. So those are the two wallflowers. And then on to my bag, I did go ahead and complete most of my sets as well as getting some new scents that I didn't have before, which I think is only one there's only one that i didn't have or yeah i didn't and i still i forgot to smell sea salt and lavender when i went in the store because i really want to see what it's like because like most of these scents in this collection half the people hate them half the people love them i'm on the fence i don't really know but i didn't get to smell that so the next time i'm in the store i am going to actually smell that and see if i want it so I did complete my grapefruit frosé collection. So I went ahead and got the shower gel as well as the body lotion. I opted to get the lotion instead of the creams because I am trying to like not have so many creams because if you can see back there, I have a nice little amount and I want to use those up. 
before I start getting more because I have had some of those for a while and I don't want them to go rank on me. So, grapefruit rose to me is really good. It's like a true like juice grapefruit type of scent, like a juicy grapefruit. Fragrance notes are sparkling grapefruit, frozen rose, and sun splash sugar. So to me, this smells like a grapefruit that has sugar on it. And if you are one of those people that like to put sugar on your fruit, you know what I'm talking about. And that's exactly what this smells like to me. I actually cannot stand the taste of grapefruit. I, I eat it for health benefits, but I don't like the taste at all. But I think they smell really good and they also taste good with sugar. But I don't do that too often because I know that kind of defeats the purpose, you know. But in my opinion, that is what this smells like. So I was happy to complete my collection. Next, I have Sunkiss. I really like Sunkiss because it has a nice little citrus note to it. And I feel like the citrus and the vanilla together give it a nice creamy orange sickle type of smell. It's, it's really a light fragrance. It's not too heavy. And I will say as well with some of these fragrances make sure you smell the lotion as well as the shower gel because you can't have a different opinion on the different body cares because they formulate them just a tad bit differently than they do the fragrance mist and that's really what i've noticed because some of these i'm in love with the shower gel more than the fragrance mist and more than the lotion so y'all the cicadas are out and i am just in agony at this point because I hate those big bugs they are so huge and if you can hear them I'm sorry but you know they make so much noise that's the sound of summer but I don't want to see them I don't want to see them mm -mm. their wings make too much noise I hate them anywho so the fragrance notes on sunkissed are sun drenched orange blossom sparkling sea salt and vanilla breeze so a lot of people say this smells like suntan lotion or sunscreen whatever you want to call it I don't really get that too much at all. I just get that citrus and that creamy vanilla in the background. So I can't wait to finally put these to use because I have not used my sun kiss at all. So I'm definitely gonna be layering my scents this summer and I'm so happy I have so many different summer scents to choose from that in the morning and in the evening at night, I have so many different choices. So I'm just gonna be showering until my skin falls off this summer at this point, so. Which I do anyway, because once I'm hot and muggy, I have to get back in the shower. I need multiple showers, period. I can't go on with my first shower of the day as the rest of the day shower. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. The next set I completed was Midnight Swim. And I just think the packaging on all of these, as I'm sure you guys have heard before, are just absolutely beautiful. I love the frosted look of the plastic. It's almost like frosted glass. And I love the clear tops on these. These look so chic and pretty to me. Fragrance notes on Midnight Swim are blue waters, beach flower, and fresh coastal air. I think this is a nice, sweet, but fresh fragrance. I have seen a lot of people compare this to Saltwater Breeze. I personally don't get that. I just really get like a sweet, you know, fresh scent, but had to get my water. So, yeah i really pretty much get like a sweet fresh scent i don't think those smell similar if anything midsummer dream is more of a beachy salty type of fragrance but i love it so so much it's so good but yeah midnight swim definitely on those cleaner days and then the last thing in this bag i did go ahead and pick up love always wins sun wash citrus in this packaging and I've been wanting to try this for a while. I passed up on the first one because I didn't even, a packaging to me is like everything. So when it just had like that orange, I didn't even see what it was at all. I, I literally skipped over it. I didn't even see what it was at all. I wasn't even interested, but you know, once I found out it was like a straight citrus note, I was really intrigued. And this smells so good to me. I like this better than Sunshine Mimosa. Sorry, don't kill the messenger, but I would actually use my Sunshine Mimosa body wash and lotion with this instead. I did actually use a spray up, and I'm gonna tell you guys about that in my empties video coming up in a few days, but to me, this is much better. Like, Sunshine Mimosa to me was very overhyped. It was very overhyped. So, the fragrance notes are sugared lemons, mandarin and agave nectar so i really really like this it smells like a juicy orange type of mixed drink 
like some type of breakfast orange drink that you would have like I don't know tang or something like it really it's really nice and orange and citrusy but then again I am a citrus lover so yeah that's why I was really disappointed in sunshine mimosa because I was expecting a lot more from it even though I did get that bubbly note from it I did get the citrus and when I first smelled it it smelled very juicy but I don't know I'm gonna give you guys a more in-depth review on my empties video so just make sure you stay tuned for that so that's everything in this bag so now we're gonna move on to the second bag and I had to hurry up and set it down because I'm so afraid that it's gonna rip the first item in this bag is actually a candle and I did get this with my free reward and I'm trying to think of something else I got with my free reward one of these fragrance mists I got with my free reward I'll probably remember once I looked through the bag but pick up firecracker pop in the single wick candle because I did have my up to 1650 free and that day the single wicks were not on sale so I just went ahead and got it so the notes for this the notes for this aren't actually on here but I will say that it does give off a nice an artificial popsicle cherry scent so I definitely will be using this um, deep off deeper into the summer I'll be using this and seeing you know what it's like but I was happy to go ahead and pick this up especially for the free after this video I'm not gonna talk for the rest of the day because I'm struggling but I had to get this video out so I'm just you know drinking my little water I'm probably gonna give me some tea so I can you know reset my vocal cords so the next scent is a controversial scent, of course. I just went ahead and completed the set because I actually kind of like it and I wasn't going to return it. And if it was really, you know, that deep, I just would have gave it to my daughter and she would have used it. So I completed the set, Berry Waffle Cone. Yep, I did. And I just think the packaging for this is like to die for. It's so beautiful. I just love, I wish they would make everything in this frosted plastic. So. As you can see, we have used it. I did actually use this yesterday because I couldn't wait anymore. And then my daughter actually used it today. So the fragrance notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. So what I have to say about this, and this is why I say you need to smell like the different forms, the different versions. Because to me, the shower gel out of this line smells better than anything. It smells better than the spray. It smells better than the lotion, whatever. But I do like the lotion as well. This is way sweeter than the fragrance mist in my opinion like this gives me a way more of that juicy berry that we were probably looking for it still has the cone nonetheless but it gives me way more of that sweet berry that i was looking for it was more of that tricks cereal that people were talking about so i think that's really what did it for me of course the fragrance mist still has a lot of cone in it but i think that's what did it for me with this so I'm gonna be keeping it. The next one is another controversial scent that I really still don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna give it a try and see. And I actually forgot to pick up the fragrance mist because while I was ordering online, something happened to my cart and everything emptied. So I had to remember what I had in there and I forgot to get the fragrance mist. Like, I don't know. But I did pick up Firecracker Pop. So I guess now I can read you guys the notes that are supposedly on the candle as well. So the notes are red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. So a lot of people have compared this to Hawaiian Punch. People have compared this to Kool-Aid. People have said that it smells like a, a, you know, like a bomb pop. People also said it's very, you know, artificially cherry. I can definitely agree and say I smell a lot of artificial cherry, but you know i'm not sure if i'm gonna pick up the fragrance mist or not because i do actually have the dupe for the tom ford lost cherry from dossier i mean if i really wanted to i can just layer it with that but i don't know i'm still kind of on the fence about you know how i feel about this i'm really not sure and this is probably terrible to mix today because i am wearing i need something comforting since i don't feel good so i did put on I did actually wear my OGX coconut and cream, what is it? OGX coconut and coffee body wash and body cream, as well as coconut cream pie. And then I used my YSL black opium on top because I just needed something comforting. Coffee scent is very comforting to me. I needed something warm and nice. So 
this for sure doesn't go with anything I have going on. Also, let me know in the comments what your scent of the day is if you have made it this far in the video because I know this is pretty long because I have been struggling having to stop, drink my water and all that. So I'm still kind of on the fence about this. I don't really know if I feel like it smells like Hawaiian punch or Kool-Aid. I really don't know, but I am gonna give it a try and I'm gonna, you know, try it out and see, but I'm still on the fence about whether I'm gonna pick up the Fine Fragrance Mist because I forgot it and it's like, do I really, really need it? I don't know, so we'll see. All in all, I'm not taking nothing back. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm just not. That's just that. <laughs> It'll get used regardless. So next, I completed my bonfire badge set. So this is what these look like, so beautiful. And the notes for bonfire badge are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So very musky, very smoky, very musky, very smoky, but I do really, really enjoy it. To me, this smells like the body care version of marshmallow fireside, which is also very smoky. So I have a funny story about this when I first wore it. I don't think my family likes it. I don't, which is, it's okay, you know. I'll wear whatever, but my dad actually asked me did I blow a candle out? Yeah, so he thought I smelled like a burnt candle and my daughter said it smelled too much, it smelled burnt, so she didn't like it either, so. Yeah, just keep that in mind if you buy that, I don't know. It may be my body chemistry or whatever, but I'm probably just gonna keep that for bedtime when nobody really has to smell me. <laughs> Cause I really do like it, but I don't wanna go around smelling like fire. So that's kinda a bummer. But you know, I still like it personally. So who knows, I'll probably still wear it. I'll just find something else sweeter to layer over it so I'm not so smoky. The next item is a backup because I just had to get another backup because I love this scent so, 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 so much. And this is coconut cream pie. Yes, this is actually what I'm wearing today. And I have my other one right here. So when this one is gone, I have this one that I can pull right out. And I need, need to actually get a backup of the body wash because I'm, I have like about this much left. So I have a couple uses left, but I need that because I love coconut cream pie. This has become one of my top favorites. So I am gonna put this in my little backup box, you know. And like I said, I don't buy backups unless I really, really love something and I don't want to run out. So last but not least, I completed my Midsummer Dream set. So look at how pretty she is. She's so pretty. I love it. I love the beach. I love all the pretty colors. Like look in the background, there's literally the ocean. It's like you're looking into the water. I, who? Whoever came up with this concept needs a raise because y'all are the goat. Y'all are the goat. Fragrance notes for Midsummer Dream are salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. So I think this is such an easy, breezy, beautiful fragrance mist. <laughs> so when I wear this, I feel like it is just so pretty. It's very airy and, you know, light. I don't think it lasts a long time. With you, a lot of fragrance mist on me do not last a very long time. Like, it's just my body chemistry. Even though I oversprayed everything, I'll get a couple hours out of stuff, but I don't really ever have high hopes for fragrance mist. Like, I really don't. So I don't really ever see the point in complaining about this stuff not lasting. Like, I know that we spent our money on this stuff, but if it's not perfume, I'm not too vexed about it not lasting for six hours. But sometimes they do, especially on my clothes. Fragrance mist definitely stay in my clothes a long time. And I will say, first I'm biased, but number one fragrance mist I have, which is Dark Kiss, I will spray my clothes. That stuff will still smell like it days later. Like if it's a jacket or something, or if I go to wash my clothes, I can still smell it. So there are some fragrance mints that definitely last and leave a long standing impression. But I would just say, do not expect your fragrance mints to perform like perfumes unless they have more of a perfume aura to them. You know what I'm saying? Like something like You're the One, I, I don't even like that fragrance, but I can tell that that's something that will last for hours because it's very perfume like. So definitely try out fragrances like that if you like, you know, long lasting scents. Like long lasting fragrance mists are more, they smell like perfume. They're strong smelling. So if you don't get a really strong smell out of it, 
from the get go it's probably not gonna last for hours which is okay but i say all that to say i still love midsummer dream it's still amazing so the item that i did get so i just remembered because i seen it um i did also get this from my free reward so i did get the midsummer dream cleansing body mousse so i just thought this was really cute and it was fancy and it was 16.50 so i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and use my reward on this and pick this up so yeah i mean basically you can use this for body wash you can use this for shaving cream whatever you like i just think it's really luxurious and when you want to get a little fancy in the shower you can definitely use this so to me midsummer dream is the perfect summer daytime scent it's a beachy you just like i just know when the wind blows people can smell you and you just smell very very nice and elegant and you know feminine and just beautiful i would highly recommend a lot of these scents for a lot of people were hit and miss so if you you know out of any of the scents that you want to try i would say start with midsummer dream because that seems to be a very universal scent and i see why it's a staple scent because these other ones are just fun they're just fun scents that you just throw on and if any of these are your staple scents that's perfectly fine but i just love how we can have fun with all these different fragrances and choose what we want to smell like for the day so that will wrap up today's video guys thank you so much for being patient with me thank you so much for you know hoping that i feel better i also hope i feel better i've been drinking my water i've been taking my vitamins i've been doing nasal sprays saline flushes everything so hopefully i'm gonna bounce back hopefully i will bounce back by friday or saturday you know so I'm also hoping to tomorrow my voice will be a little better and if not I'll have a video the day after that but I just had to get on here and talk to you guys and just give you a little update and show you what I got because I have been sitting on these products because I meant to do the haul that day but that's the day I started feeling sick so I'm just like hmm you know I don't know also today I mean this is not on topic at all so if you're still here you know you know what it is we here we here does anybody else um maybe you are younger but does anybody else else's child today wake up and immediately ask for the bts mcdonald's meal because mine did so since i didn't really want to leave the house i just ordered it on doordash and she was ecstatic so that's what we had today this morning we had mcdonald's for breakfast bts meal so yeah she was very happy about that <laughs> but it's so cute so anywho I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.